Molly Nick Okama's body was found here at the South Center Mall. Today we learn more about the disturbing allegations against a JBL, JBLM soldier accused of killing him, including that prosecutors believe he stabbed him multiple times in the chest, and that this was all part of a plan not just to desert the Army, but also to avoid decades in prison. Behind the dark windows of a military police van, Jonathan Kang Lee was shackled and had four officers escorting him to a court hearing at Joint Base Lewis McCord. I just saw him for the coward that he was. Today was the first time Nicole Charcotti saw her boyfriend's accused killer in person. He had so many options he could have done, but he was too stupid, and now this is where he is. According to military prosecutors, Jonathan Lee fled JBLM just one day before he was set for trial on charges of child rape. Nick Hokema was working his shift as a cab driver, and prosecutors say they have evidence that Lee stabbed Hokema in the chest and then stole his cab. The prosecution submitted evidence to the court that they say shows Hokema tried to get away from Lee. I woke up at 7 and I checked my phone and I saw the message from his co-worker that said we're worried about him and I just knew, I knew something horrible had happened. Nicole says in the months leading up to today's hearing, she still doesn't understand why Lee wasn't in confinement ahead of his trial on the rape charges, especially considering he faced a sentence of 64 years. They didn't really see a reason for pretrial confinement other than the fact that he probably raped two children between the ages of four and eight. Nicole hopes to see accountability for Lee and also for the system that she says put her boyfriend in the path of a desperate and dangerous soldier. He was mine. I was his. He was mine. That was the way it was supposed to work. And it didn't because of other people's blatant neglect and stupidity. That kind of monster took Nick away from me. And everyone is downplaying it. And I'm sick of it. The next step in the case here will be for the officer who heard the proceedings today to determine whether or not the prosecutors gave enough evidence to move the case toward trial. That decision could come sometime in the next few weeks. For now, Lee is being held in confinement at JBLM. Reporting live in Tequila, Jeremy Harris, Como News.